Hi, it's Ashley from AB Sound Advice. Today I'm doing a tech video, just sort of letting you guys know some of the other things that I do. We have an amplifier that's been sent to me as a test. It's a prototype, it's not actually out yet from Excelsis. It's a four channel 100 by four, and it also can be run as a subwoofer. So you can effectively have 100 by 100 at the front, and you can do 400 at two ohm in mono. So you can see any of the configuration. If you look at my wiring, we have simulating a front, left and right. And then down the bottom here, if you come in close, you can see this cable here. We've got bridged from one terminal to the other as the sub. And then you follow the cable around and we've got it into this little subwoofer, little six inch that I've modified to suit what we need to do. Base controller. And again, you can see the RCAs and our test rig is an old Panasonic that I've had for years and with the USB. And we've got a little um, power supply and a little button that just simulates the remote coming on and off for the amplifier. And of course, um, I'm just testing this unit just to see what it's like sound-wise and the rest of it. We also have a pair of um, tweeters and uh, crossovers up the top there just for separation, and then two drivers and a pair of 6 by 9s to the side. And of course, an old uh, one of my favourite that we actually call this the Bumble Z. It's my old Z. Uh, from the past when I used to do sound offs and things so I just thought you guys would be interested to see um, what else we do so whether it be a amplifier or a head deck or um, speakers subwoofers I can test pretty well anything here and uh, we just leave the thing running and just see if there's anything that uh, causes any grief you know we test for temperature and all that sort of thing but uh, again it's pretty cool you don't it's not that common to see a four channel amplifier with a bass controller um, as part of the kit and again there's no model number for this at this stage and of course the color will change in this test environment um, I think eventually when the when they actually come out with the the actual product it'll be a black so this will be a black body with gold ends so um, it just gives you an idea um, you know what happens behind the scenes in a testing environment and then when I'm finished I ship it off to America and then one of the testing guys in America then plays for it. So there's, a, you know, it's amazing, even, you know, all these years later, you know, and I've been in audio 40 years this year, we still send products, even when I used to be the MD of JVC, we'd send products off to be tested by dealers or people who've got car audio experience, just to make sure they hadn't missed anything. Um, if there's anything we pick up or features or things that we, we don't like or there's things that may not be suitable, that we pick it up before it actually goes to production. So I hope you've enjoyed today's little tech video. And again, thank you for tuning into AB Sound Advice.